Mm -hmm. Hello and good evening and welcome everybody to another... Oh my gosh. Another. You think you're a singer, don't you? No, I don't sing. You have some cut in it, but... That's okay. Why do you get so close to the mic and make your because everybody so said, long? Everybody thinks I can't... Nobody can hear me. I can't hear Sean. So by putting my mouth right at the speed, at the thing, you should hear me. So many things I could say, but I won't because I'm a good boy. Amber, Kathy, Kim, Rianne. Oh, Rianne, are you home yet? Amber, Jess, Jules, Mabel. All right, welcome. Well. Hi, Lisa. Watch kiss. Betsy, Janessa. Thank goodness your Gary's are here. Yes, thank goodness. All right. Because what would we do without us being here? Well, everyone would be watching the debate. Is there a debate? Yeah, there's a debate tonight. That's what is that going That's on here? <laughs> Hi from Boston. Um, yeah, there's a debate going on tonight. Love to I go think. to Boston. That's never someone on our life said. I guess it's going back to the debate after this. Oh, That's no. the debate That's they what were that talking means. about. Oh, you're coming in Spokane Thursday. Very cool. Oh my gosh, Sean, you're killing me. You didn't even know there was a debate tonight. No, we don't watch any news, so how would I know? It's not that we don't watch we news. Literally, we literally don't. never see the news, ever. We don't hey, see Valerie. pretty much anything, Sean. Wow. All right. So for those of you who have been following us um, for a couple of days now, we have been putting up Halloween decorations. Mm -hmm. We have our upstairs done. I, our downstairs is pretty much done. And then we may or may not do a village. Because <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> so God, how much work decorating is. I love it, but it's a lot of work. All right. Um, but uh, last year, I supposedly, and it, it has been verified, auctioned off all of my stuff. And I don't remember doing that. But Sean and Jazzy have reminded me that I did do this. So we had to recreate everything, which is okay, because that means I get to create with all of you peeps. So, a couple things I want to address, though, before we start. Um, number one. Um, so, here's the deal. Hmm. I love all of you. You guys all know I have a pretty fun sense of humor. And on a one-on-one -on -one basis, we um, can kid around and joke around. With that said, if you are a subscriber of mine and you come in and start saying things to other viewers about other viewers, we will block you. Case in point. Last night I was not, um, I was in the zone. You privy. And I wasn't privy and I found out some information today and I just want to let you guys know that I will always support my moderators and admins when they make a decision. Um, and... I can take a lot of teasing and stuff, but I don't like when people start talking about other subscribers yeah. and fun. stuff. So, um, with that said, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say there. Ta-da! Okay. So, I am going to uh, move on from that and tell you that we are going to do one, two, three projects tonight. Get through them as quick as possible. Hopefully it's not as long as last night because it's not as... I don't think intense, but maybe it is. It's a lot of just kind of easy stuff. And then we're going to do, so we're going to do a haunted mansion. We're going to do a double frame and we're going to do the gothic trick or treat. So there. So there. <laughs> do you have any questions? You know what? Now that I look at this, I don't know if this is going to cover all the way, but I could do a border around it or something. What do you mean? Well, because see, I can do this, but then it's going to have this down here. Unless I do this, which I might do, and then carry the pattern out. I don't know what I want to do. That'll take forever to do that. Sean. I think, why don't you just leave a little bit of black around the border? And then it'd be kind of a black-white border, and then whatever you put in the center. Okay. Don't you think? Because yeah. there's already a border here. Yeah. And you got this, and just make sure it's the same distance from there to there, and I think you have a nice border. Mm-hmm. So, Hi, in Samantha. honor... Hi, Amanda. I love you so much, and I miss you so much. And hi, my beautiful... Hello, Miss Aubrey. Sean beat me, too. Uh, I know. I was going to say... You're playing with your hat. Okay, so in honor of Watts of Love, because a year ago, we survived Africa and came back... Came back? Came about. Came back. Um, changed men. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm wearing my Watts of Love Zoteca, and I don't even know what it says in the back. What does it say? What's your dream? 
And then chalk it to her what's all of. Not a house. This makes me think of Ratchet. We started it yesterday. It's kind of weird. It's kind of... It's good. It's very American Horror Story-esque. All right. Well, since it's done by Ryan Murphy. So Sean yesterday, literally, we're watching Ratchet, and he looks over at me, and he's like, is this done by the gay director? <laughs> and I'm like... Because I couldn't think of his name, and then, all, then it so came So first me. of all, we don't need to classify people as gay or not gay. Number one. Number two, do you know how many probably gay directors? Like, that didn't narrow it down for me at all. So finally I was like, what? And he was like, you know, he's gay. That's all he gave me. Murph. Murphy. And then he was like, you know, the Murph. The Murph's, Murph, Ryan Murphy. And I was like, okay, well, he's a lot more than just gay, Sean. But that's okay. Yeah. It's okay to be gay. <laughs> um, but it's kind of weird. What do you think of it so far? Good. I like it. It's very, if you like American Horror Story, yeah. you'll like it. It's so. got a lot of the same characters that Ryan likes to use. But it's not an American Horror Story. It's not. Because American Horror Story this season... Ooh. Do I need to mix that? Ooh. Yeah. Is this going to... Ooh, jeez. Ooh. Ooh, jeez. Ooh, jeez. Hope we can make... Oh, my gosh. I hope I can get this to come back. Yes, you can. I can if you can't. First, we put water. This might mean to go into a bowl. Oh, <gasps> where's my tool? Exactly. It's over there. Where? Right there. Where? Oh, right I'm going to go get a bowl. I'll be right back. You can explain right what we're going to do. So. I'm going to use my new tool for you guys. Like you. Will you see if these are good to go? Let me come down here real quick. And we'll zoom in if I can find my wand stick here. This might come in a little too tight. So this here is very firm. I'm pushing in it. <sighs> Not good. So we're going to take this, pour it out into another bowl, and then take this little magic thing here and some distilled water, and we'll get it broken up and smoothed out in no time. This is works really well, especially with using a bowl, because you get this is just too too big to get to work into this, but you get a bowl with some high sides, and it'll work really nice. Um, so that's what we're going to do with that. We use distilled water only, Stephanie. Distilled only. Uh, oh, excuse me. Are these good? These are good? Why is there a lag between Facebook and YouTube? Is this good? I haven't checked them. I was oh. chit-chatting about those. Um, why is there a lag between the two, um, Robin? It's mostly because usually YouTube has better servers, for one thing. Um, that's one of Sometimes the you just need to refresh, too. Refresh, Sometimes yeah. One will always be faster than the other. Um, it depends also on your settings. Mm -hmm. Also depends on your internet. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going out pretty fast. We're going out pretty fast. So fast. Went to almost 30 megs a second. Oh my gosh. We're like freaking Up Superman. Upload. Yep. So. Superman. Okay. So this is um, PG Keen and you can see it's a little bit crumbly. Oh, look at Sheila's. I lo Sheila, I'm going to show you your thing because that's so cool. Look at your, look at that. Wicked. Oh, that is cute. Very cool. What's the um, name of that tool? It is a Scandinavian, um, I guess even, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's the name of that little company with the food? and yeah. Paper Chef. <laughs> they have one too, just like they said. Can exactly you zoom like in it. real quick? Yeah. So we're going to add um, some sprays in my distilled water. And then I'm going to take this guy and then I literally just kind of squish it. Now... There have been other designers showing off a like electrical paint mixer, I think. Um, we haven't got that because this works, I think, amazing. Um, and you can see by doing this, it's kind of squishing the paste through this little whatever this is. It's a whip. It's a whisk. Is it? It's a special whisk. Hi, Allie. And then you can just kind of... And I think we paid like... No, I'm not even kidding. I know, like five, five bucks. bucks. Uh, Betsy asks, so why does the paste do that, especially since we store ours so well? This came, I think this came from Zed was a fairly new one. Yeah, it? Peachy Keen um, lately, and I don't know why, has been a little bit on the thicker side, even um, Teresa when she got hers. Yeah. So a lot of it could just be the um, natural dyes they use could. Uh, I'm not sure. But a lot of people freak out. It, you can easily rescue this. Yep. So uh, I've rescued like solid paste. So, and we are using distilled water just because it will keep it from molding. So we're just going to keep adding. You can always add more water. It's hard to take water out. Right. So I just know this is going to take a lot. 
So we're just going to keep doing this. Now, there have been designers out and about that will say it's not rescuable. It is. Put it in a bowl like this and you can put it in a microwave. So mm -hmm. I put it in for about two to five seconds, depending on how powerful your microwave is. Add more water, stir it, we smush about, it. We go about five seconds. Ours is a 1300 watt, so which is about one of the highest you'll get home style. So this tool, um, we discovered it actually because I didn't have all the tools I normally would have at Teresa's house and we were doing an event and she loves this this peach color. It's almost her, like a, a like blush her almost. Blush, yeah. And hers was, she was like, look at how bad this is. And I was like, I can fix it. But I didn't have um, anything to smush it with besides a fork. And then I was like, I wonder what this will, and then I, I saw how well this worked, so. Chastity, that's a great idea. Uh, she asks, um, you need more water? Yeah, there's some on this uh, side, I think. She asks how we, you know, how to teach, do, how to teach to do lines like, the, um, you know, like split screens and, and what would build our audience. One of the things is, is that it depends on what software. That's what the everything you see on what we do. Technically, like the the little picture that you see here in the square and all that stuff. That's the software that we're using. Um, we the first one we used was Switcher Studio, but it's all Apple based. This is Apple based too, but I can plug in almost anything I want camera wise, audio wise, where Switcher does everything by like using an iPhone or an iPad. But we'll all those that. soft, once you have the right software, you can do all kinds of fun things. What about putting it in the microwave? Well, our microwave is upstairs, not one down here, but this is not, I think when, if it was a lot drier, you'd probably want to do it in the microwave. So the microwave is for like when it's solid and you like have to put it in your jar, like water in your jar and I like take a fork and poke holes in it and then the water will go down there. Just make sure if it's an old thing a piece, you don't want to put the aluminum foil ones. They had like a foil top because they will spark. Yeah, they will. The older ones do. So if you have some old ones, you have to make sure you really get that off of there. But um, so the ones that are solid, like you can't even stick a fork into, put some water, microwave it three to five seconds. Then take your fork and some people some people may not want to do it that way where they'll heat the water. Take oh, your yeah. distilled water, just heat it first, and then just slowly add that into it. And then you can definitely do that. You can do whatever you want because it's your paste and not ours. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean, 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 clean. Get all this goodness in um, here. A little mini food processor. Well, this thing is so thick, a, a um, like what we use at home, uh, for our coffee. The, um, what do we call those? They're a uh, frother. A frother. A frother does not have enough power uh, for one, so don't use a frother. There is one out that some designers are starting to use called it's the... It's like a paint. It's called a, it's, it's literally like a paint. It's a mini paint like paint stirrer. stirrer. And it's, that one has a lot more power. And I don't know so if it's one, electrical it's, or if it's, it's like... Bat it's battery. It's battery? Yeah, it's battery. Okay. But it has a lot more torque and that one would work a lot better. They call it the something like Badger. I know, yeah. I know one of you guys in here has one. Yeah. So I will say though, um, this tool was cheap and it's super easy to do. Just, I get a plastic bowl mm -hmm. and I like easy. Yeah. So Denise, we always use distilled water. Always, always, always nothing else but that. Yeah. Coffee frothers, Tamara, I don't know, unless it's really smooth. Like my frother, there is no way that would have worked with that. It's, there is not enough torque. Torque. I need more power. All right. Did you check those other pastes or too busy talking? Um, that one's fine because I know I did that one yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. That's a technical foul. Why is there no lid on that? Because you put water in it and then you got to chatting. That's why, Sean. Sometimes your chatting takes priority, which is fine. But then sometimes you forget. And then you say... I swore I put that lid on. Are so you Stephanie, sure? it, it, any color, doesn't matter okay. what color you have. It'll Can work. I interrupt you? Mm -hmm. You have got to say the question for to, the people on the replay. I'm going to pop it up. I know, but some people are listening to headphones mm -hmm. and not watching the screen. Right. So because you don't respond to YouTube comments, people are saying, what is he talking about at this point? Oh, okay. That's all I'm asking. So, Thank you. So no matter what color, Stephanie, it's easy to mix up. So what was the question? 
the question was, what is the citrus blush like? It will oh. be easy for me to mix out, says Stephanie. So yes, any color. Okay, so we're using papaya, orange peel, peachy king, and um, we'll have white, but... Mm -hmm. And you want this... I get it at a... A good brownie. Some people say brownie batter, cake batter, sour cream. Yeah. Chrissy said, and I've already popped it up, I have a paste that looks like foam. Is there any way I can do to make so it like creamy foam, paste? It will look like um, cottage cheese slash foam. Um, technically, I set those out a little bit, but um, even if it's that cottage cheesy foamy, it will work still, but to get to that creamy technique, it's going to be a lot of water and mixing. Do I have the little blue lid when you're done there? Of course. Here so you go. The Badger 121 Paint Stir. There you go. That's it. Thanks, Denise. Let me pop that up real quick here. That's what it's called. You can find it on Amazon. I've seen a couple other designers use it. It looks, it looks, looks good. I think you have to be really careful if you're doing it in the jar that it can splatter. Uh, for those who don't know, distilled water, you can just go to any store. They carry it. 94 this is like 96 cents at uh, 98 cents or if it's on sale so it's very it's basically water that has been distilled which means they boiled it and then distilled the steam down which leaves all the impurities left behind so it's just plain old water with nothing in it basically okay so i am starting with a retire transfer i do apologize that's why i technically when i decorate my house and use transfers that are retired i don't like Showing it too much because then people are like, why can't I get that transfer? Where's that transfer? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm always yeah. like, I'm sorry. I just don't have um, so this is our hands tooth pattern and we're doing a double frame and I need to make sure that this is centered. So Sean will zoom out and I'm going to get this exactly where I want it. Now, on this, we're going to have to do it twice, which is fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. fine. Okay. Um, so, a couple things on this. This is a very well-loved transfer because it's retired and I can't get it. So, um, where are my foreign squeegees, Shawnee? Oh, here they are. Okay. Way back there. So, this is how I get air bubbles out of something like this. I start by basically knowing I want it here and I'm going to take my foreign squeegee and you're going to hear what I call the snap crackle pop which is basically getting the air bubbles out and I go from the center out and why is it important to get air bubbles out Sean because air bubbles leave a kind of a weird look behind it uh, it's not smooth yeah. It, it's not, it's like one side is very smooth and you got this weird look right in the middle of it. And it's not what you want. And depending on the transfer and how well you've taken care of it and put it on the backing, sometimes uh, air bubbles happen because of the way you put it back on the transfer. I use the four inch squeegee. Now, some people will say don't do this because it does get it pretty good seal on your board. Mm -hmm. And so it can be kind of a pickle to remove. And then you can just keep doing it until you don't hear snap, crackle, pop. So let's listen. And there. Ooh, Ooh that was a teeny, good one. Teeny one. The board will cover that. You were correct, Stephanie. If you get a bubble off to the edge, it'll bleed under there. Bleed. Nice job. All right. So I am just going to put my color down. I'm not really doing a hot mess, but more of kind of a stripe. So I'm gonna kind of put it up towards the top. And it really doesn't even have to go all the way in the middle because this thing is gonna cover it anyway. Mm -hmm. You are correct, sir. Get some nice peachy king. See, like, look at that. It's all back. This is called, for those who missed it, this is called the Hound's Tooth. It is no longer. This is a retired. Normally, you don't show retired, but we were just running out of different backgrounds. So. Well, I was going to do 
um, another background, and then Sean said, nope, this one. And so, I take his advice very seriously. Oh, so close. Oh, Sandpoint. Hi, Beth. We haven't been to Sandpoint in, like, forever. Switch around. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with just my small squeegee, pick up the remainder, and if I need to dip it in some more color, I can. Sandpoint is a very pretty place. It is gorgeous. Right next to the lake. Okay, Sean, did I miss any areas? Or am I good? You have a thing right here on the end. Oh. Well, good thing I had you here. I didn't even see that. No. Anywhere else? Nope. Okay, so... We are going to remove it. And then I have to go wash it. And Sean will dry this. Yep. OMG! Look how pretty that is. Um, when you dry this, there, I got some ickiness. Okay. I'll go wash this, and then you can All try right. that. Okay, I'm going to mute, and here we go. So, like we said, we were talking about bubbles. Let me see if I can zoom into one. So when you have a bubble, this is what bubbles will do if you have a bubble, is this look. Even the rest is all good, but this means that there was a bubble underneath it. So that's what you come up what? with. I'm just showing what a bubble looks like. Why did you have to show my bubbles? That's all right. This way they understand. They will be covered. That's why I'm not as Yeah, so we don't care it. about this, but that's what it would look like. You didn't get that off, I guess. Yeah. What am I going to do with you? Okay. There you go. Okay, you can move that out of the way for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to dry this. So this is right out of sopping wet. I just ran it under warm water. And I'm going to grab my four inch squeegee again and we're going to get all of the water out of here and then we're going to dry it this poor transfer and rough for him yeah. it is an awesome zoom that's why uh, we went with this route with cameras so i have the capability and by this route he means a lot of money yeah it could have been more but i, I... <laughs> It could have been. The cameras could have been a lot, almost double the price. I'm going to say it was worth every penny. Yeah. Good job, Sean. I'm very happy with it. How do you prevent bubbles, asks Triva. Um, mostly is that, like he was showing you, using the four-inch squeezy, if you see one or feel one, you pull it up and you use it and just kind of go down and, and you feel. And you pull up. Once, and when you don't feel anymore, you should yeah. be pretty good. Crackle. Pop. Once you, not to say you'll get every single one, well, and they do but make you, a lot of these transfers. So even this hound's tooth, you'll see, has distressing in it. Mm -hmm. So there's like little flakes of silk screen. Um, and that's because right we don't want a perfect, we want it to have that distressing. So the bubbles are kind of hidden. Um, bubbles in the middle, I'm not too worried about because they'll be covered by my double frame. 
double side. Okay, so we want to make sure this is dry, but not only do we want to make sure it's dry, we also want to make sure that board's dry. Now, when you are doing a pattern repeating, it is very important to know which way you did your pattern. And the best advice I can tell you um, is when you're using patterns, all of our silk screens have a name in the bottom left. So right here is the name. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, here, I'll move. Oh, okay. So right here, no. here this says 2018 houndstooth pattern right there. So this is my way of knowing which way I do my pattern. Yep. So I knew when I put it down the first time, that's in the lower left hand corner. And now I know how to put it on. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna bring our board back up. Thank you, Sean. So you did this side first, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. And we're gonna make sure this is dry, dry, dry. Thanks, Katie. Is the debate on like every channel? Oh, of course. Oh, I didn't know every, that. Every channel is going to carry it. It is? Oh, yeah. It's a ratings powerhouse. Okay, yep. so now we're going to line this up. So we still want to have this be on our outside as much as possible. And. If we're gonna do that, we need to um, obviously line it up as much as we can. And all I do is line it up with, how much further can I bring it down? I think where you had it is gonna be your best. It is? Yeah, and then just do a little bit of uh, masking. All right, Sean. So basically, we're just trying to line it back up within that pattern, which is actually pretty easy once you... And it doesn't have to be 100%. Oh, that's good, Sean. I think it's fine. Okay, so we're not worried too much about bubbles on this end because we're not going to... Um, do any pasting there. So we're only worried about the bubbles up here. And we need to mask it off. And why do we need to mask it off, Sean? Because we want to, what we're trying to do is still have this black border here, now on this end, here. And because if not, you're going to, this is going to be right up and it'll, it'll look totally different. Yeah. And we also um, need to mask it off here. So I'm going to first get out my bubbles and ripples and wrinkles. Okay, so we have a little bit of masking to do on this end, which I'll just use this, which is our masking tape or replacement tape. So we'll put an edge of it right there. And the reason we're going to put a piece of tape here is we don't want more paste to cover that. So we're just going to tape it almost right on the line. And I just want to see just a little bit of orange coming through so that way it at least touches. Okay, so we are only doing this part right here. We are going to grab new squeegees. And let's start with, kind of got a little bit of the dark orange. So let's start with that. So this is papaya. Papaya. And this time I don't really need to worry about using the foreign squeegee because we're not doing as much area. So I use the foreign squeegee really because it's quick. 
which is what you kind of want. We'll get some peachy keen now. Oh, thanks there, Miss Jamie. And I have bubbles, but I'm not going to freak out. And then we're going to grab some of our regular orange. Orange peel, I guess. Not regular, but... Alright, and now... Uh, let's put that back. Let's do a little bit more papaya and peachy king. So it's not really hot mess, not really ombre or stripes. It's just kind of a little bit of here, a little bit of there. Did I miss any spots, Shani? Mm -mm. I have Sean's stamp of approval. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to grab it from this side because... Ta-da! Oh, uh, Shawnee, dry that. Yep, drying. Dry time. Oh, Miss Kate. And there we are with that nice little mixture. Again, we did papaya, orange peel, peachy keen. Do a quick cleanup here, so. I'll be using those colors again. Are you? Yeah. All right. But you can. Nice, good. Yeah. So that is the first board. We're gonna put this off to the side for a sec. And Sean is already in clean mode. That's me, clean mode. Even though I cleaned up everything yesterday. Yes. So he could go get dinner because it was so late. It was so late. But that's okay. But we ended up having a very nice taco salad. Which we will probably have again soon. No leftovers. I'll go clean the lids here in a sec. Okay, so we are going to be utilizing white this time. And I know you guys are going to be so mad at me. This is a retired transfer. I think it is at least. It was. The ones that we had before. We don't get a ton of new Halloween decorate or Halloween transfers. My hat is all whippity woppity. Why don't you tell me I look like a... Oh, I didn't know that. Hi, Kate. Um, somebody said, I forget who it was, they said you look different with a hat on back. Is that different in a good way or different in a bad way? Oh, okay. Different. Okay. 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 All right, so we are going to do our double board. So we do not want these on here, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is grab a little taking that off mm -hmm. because oh, yes. if not it won't won't sit right yeah so we're gonna end up gluing this to the other board hola melissa mm -hmm.
Leftovers. Leftovers are for quitters? Oh, Beth. But when it is so good, you can't say no. Uh, Brenda asks, I know the chuckle chips are out of stock, but can you tell me which catalog they are in? Because I can't find them. They're in every single one of them. Mm -hmm. They've been around for quite some time. So They're in the surface section. Surface section, because it is so a surface. So if you go to the back of our catalog, <clears throat> excuse me, they are going to be... Right there. right there. Black and white. Chocobo chips. White is the newer one. The black's been around a little longer. And it started off with a porcelain coating, and then they went with the boutique coating. All right. Here is the board. It's a pretty board. Here is my transfer. Ooh, it's not marked. Well, we got to change that. Here you go, Shani. Mm -hmm. You're gonna fuzz? No, this has been fuzzed already. Oh. I've used this twice. Nice. And Jazzy used it on the board behind you. Yes. That's why you can see kind of some shimmer paste in here. Uh, drop it in. Okay, so we are gonna have a lot of different things ready to go. So, um, uh, Tamara, what little tool are you talking about? Did you have a brain fart? Hmm? I was deciding what I really wanted to do. So on white, because this is going to be down for quite some time, um, on tool. I am going to put down a pretty good amount of white. Now, a couple things. Um, why am I putting down a healthy amount, Sean? Because this is a lot. Mm. Why am I putting down so much? Um, because you're probably going to be doing a different color somewhere else and you can let it sit. Mm -hmm. You're so smart, if Sean. If you let it sit, it won't dry as fast. It's drying, but not as fast. Like the top layer is drying, yeah. the bottom is not. Uh, Annette asks, great question. So if you get carried away with water and the paste turns out too runny, is it salvageable? Absolutely. Just keep the cap open and just let it sit. And uh, about every half hour, give it a little stir and it'll just sit. The water will literally just evaporate out of it. I um, do that a lot with the red. Yeah, because red is very thin. So just keep going, and once you find that you like it about where it's at, then you can just close the top. And it could take a few hours, depending on how runny it really is. I've heard other people say hey, like hey. they've added uh, corn syrup or other stuff, um, but I would just advise airing it out. It's the easiest way. Where did we get that little um, toolkit that you use? Uh, I think my dad got it at just the dollar store. It was in our stocking stuffers. Yeah. So it was either the dollar store or some, you maybe. Got, you got one and I got one. What's the brand name on it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? I just, I think I topped it back in the drawer. Is it on this side? Uh, it's down I'm in down the here. bottom drawer. Yeah. It's really good. It's got, it's, it's mini. So it's got everything in it on it is mini. And give me a second to get my auto zoom working. Yeah, it's very cool. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's got uh, screwdriver, Phillips, um, what they call a uh, torque. What's the name brand? Uh, Hyper Tough. So I'm assuming that's a dollar store thing. Yeah, it's probably it's probably a dollar store. I don't, I don't know. It's cute. It's a cute little thing. I've used I've used mine to help adjust my um, sprinkler system because it's got a very small. Um, and by stockings, we mean for Christmas. For Christmas, yeah, stocking suppers. Which we do a little different now, but we used to buy stocking suppers for everyone. And my dad would get um, those for the guys, and I think socks for the girls. But we don't do it that way anymore. Jessica says, this is so cute, you're making me want to decorate. Okay, so... 
we're going to do these in papaya. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Nicole. Uncle. And it says it's a Home Depot brand. Oh, oh it could be. That brand is Walmart, says Deanne. That could definitely be. could be Walmart. My dad does a lot of shopping there. Yeah. So, yeah, I do eat probably somewhere. Which, yeah. that makes sense because they have those little, like, aisles of stocking stuffers. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. Okay. So, when you have a lot of paste already down, I'm going to remove this going backwards. So, we just put papaya down. Yep. And why am I going backwards, Shani? Because you want to take off the last one first because as you're working back, the white's already been on there for long enough and it's thick and the other ones are not. So you want to start with that and you're just going to go backwards. Except for I'm going to take my white off now because my other are on there pretty thin. Yeah. Now white, I'm heavy handed, so I need to watch out for harsh lines. Mm -hmm. So as you're removing your white, um, you would just want to look for any harsh lines. And a harsh line is basically where uh, you remove paste or put paste down. You'll have like the paste marks of your squeegee. So you just want to remove those. And then I'm going to grab a baby wipe for these smaller things up here because I'm not going to save the paste because everything is starting to dry. And then we're gonna grab Peachy Keen over here. Can you grab the board? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually it's coming fine. Voila! Look how cool that is. I'm going to mute and we're going to dry. And there you are. And the cool thing is that because of the way they di they uh, distressed it, it looks like this all pulled up, but it did not. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Oops. So these are meant to look like this. Mm -hmm. Just to give it that nice distressed look. Okay. Heidi, okay. Heidi, it didn't make sense. Let me show you what she said. Um, uh, and I have my hot glue gun going. Excuse me, show me. So some colors, some dyes are that you need to like put a whole bunch to get what you want. Like that's probably why red is so thin that they probably had to put whatever they're using for red, a bunch of it yeah. in there to make it red. So you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm debating if I like my papaya, but I think I do. Yeah, I do. I had to think about it. Mm -hmm. So I give these to Sean because he... I'll go clean your lids, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Clean the lid. Anything for you, sweet pa. Thanks. And this is what we do. We have this cute little uh, brush. If he uses... Or he uses his finger. I use a, a special uh, brush. Or maybe he's going to grab it. So yeah, well, I just use that to clean out the brushes. I use the big one first to get all the uh, big stuff off and then use the small one to get into the grooves of the lid itself and it works really great. Where is 
my oh there. Get a couple of these tools here. Just use our good old uh, multi-tool to get everything clean. Do the edges here. This one's pretty full, so I'm not going to have to go down into it. Same thing with the orange. Get it in, get the inner edge in. Bring it all to bring it all into the middle. This one's pretty thin. I'm not gonna put any water in this one. This one's no I mean, water. It's not thin, it's at the right consistency. Right consistency. So it's good. And I'm gonna help you ink up on us for a little bit. Okay. Just because we have to wait for our heat, our hot gun, glue gun to heat up. Can you stand in the middle? For some reason, that is looking very out of focus. Well, that's not good. No. <coughs> it's like it always wants to focus on that. Are you okay? Oh my gosh, you wouldn't think you could choke on ice, but you... <coughs> well, when it's that tiny, yeah. All right. I'm good. Nice. Power through it. Power through, baby. I am so ready for my injections. My back is uber tight. Uh, Miss Beth is asking. Hi, Beth. She's the one that lives in Sandpoint. Hi. It was just, just asking because I meant to, it went up so fast and then I forgot to put it. That if there is such thing as a studio visit. What? Studio visit. What is that? Come by and look at our studio. Oh! So, since, she um, lives, since she lives so close. Sorry. I was like, what? Um, sorry about that. So, during non-COVID times, yes. Uh, during COVID times, we have to be a little bit more strict. Um, but we are thinking about doing kind of like an open house because there's local team here mm -hmm. um, that's actually part of uh, my Chalk sister Amanda, Chalk Boss's team. And she has... Uh, team here, Tracy, and so I go do stuff with them and stuff, and I always forget, like, to me, this isn't, I shouldn't deal. say it's not a big deal, because I'm sure if I went to someone's house that I looked up to or watched, that would be a big deal, but, like, when they, even they came here, they were taking pictures and stuff, and I was like, okay, but then you kind of forget. It's just where we do videos. We've got a little more of the dry edge, so this one's going to take a moment. Un momento, por favor. Beth said she just became an, uh, a designer. Oh, yay! That's so exciting. Are you under? Is she, are, are you under Kenny? How's your finger doing? It must be doing good. And now he's just using normal, a normal band-aid versus the other stuff. Yeah. I'll have to go put a new band-aid on. This is all wet. Yeah, hold on. So this is actually looking really good. Polysporin's helped. Yeah. But you can see where... Whoop, wrong one. Sorry. Where the cut is from basically... Come my way. Where's my... Where's a, my uh, detail tool? So... Come over here. The cut... Over here. Is... There. You're pointing this way. You know that, right? I'm coming... I'm going like this. But... Oh <laughs> my gosh. I can't with you. So this is where the knife... There it is. It's coming. There you go. So the knife went from here. So it went that far down. So this part's really sore right through here. Um, but you can see where it goes from there all the way over. Mm -hmm. And it got to about right there. So the knife was literally down to here. And I don't know how much that flop is. We never looked at the flop. No, we never it. saw. But it's it's deep. So, I'm going to go, while you do this, I'm going to get a band-aid on it real quick, okay? Okay. Be right back. Oh, you're also a nurse. Very cool. I used to work with lots of nurses at Sacred Heart and Holy Family and Valley and Deke. And uh, some nurses at, uh, what is that one in Coeur d'Alene? <laughs> I forget, it's been a while. Yeah, no need. Yeah, it's healing, so no need for uh, stitches. 
All right, that one's much cleaner now. Much better. Much better. Yeah, they do hurt, I tell you. Ooh, that's right, I hit the button by accident. There we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna give this to El Shanio. That'd be me. And now we're gonna do the gluing. So, a couple things on this. Um, hot glue, you don't have a ton of time. So, my biggest advice is to make sure that when you do this, you get it straight or so you want to go to that camera i'm just about to so this is kind of where i asked sean you can off kilter it if you like should we off kilter it we've never done an off kilter i don't think we have what do you think off kilter or no what says you i like the off kilter a little bit okay it's halloween why not okay ah. so i'm just going to put Hot glue. Cindy, you made it. All right, so then, since I'm not worried about too much of it being straight, since I'm doing a little off kilter, we just need to make sure, right about there, Sean? Uh, a little more turn, a little more turn, just, there you go. Right there? Yeah. Is it good left to right, bottom? Come more your to your right, just a little bit. Right there? Yes. There? I think that's good. Okay. And then you just push it down. Now, normally, if you don't do it off kilter, you have this really nice double frame and stuff. But, and it dries pretty quick, so we can show you up here. That's cute. That do you like the off kilter? Yeah. I do, too. All right. I'm going to go put it up where it goes. We turn off the glue gun. Mm-hmm. Do you like the off kilter? Or you just No, I do. I do like it. That's cool. Like Nurse practitioner. Wow, that's pretty cool. I've known a couple pra nurse practitioners as well. Oh they can prescribe meds. A Holy, moly. Holy moly, he says out there. Yes, happy anniversary, by the way. Cindy. You have like a massive screw in that. In what? In that wall, so it can't even hang on anything. Yeah, I'll have to change it up. Okay, so next let's do our haunted house. Yeah. So, I bought this frame at Hobby Lobby. It's white frame, actually. Yeah. We painted it black. <gasps> what are you doing? Things are falling. Oh, my murder house tried to murder me. No, it tried to murder me because I said those bad things about Ratchet. <laughs> What's a good color for the deers? I don't know. We don't even have them yet, or do we? We're supposed to get them October 1st. <sighs> okay. Holy moly, guacamole. So, I painted the frame black. Can you show them the frame, Shiny? Yep. Thank you. So, we painted it black, and then I did a dusting of gold on it. So it's this big. Sorry, another retired transfer. Yeah. Everybody loved it on the last one. What? Um, oh, the yes. double frame? Okay, so this is just a backdrop, so I'm not going to do a fully, um, because this has all these pieces that you can put in the windows to make the windows and yellow and stuff, but I don't do that. You did once. I did one year, but not the last year. Yeah, just for, to let you know. What? I don't know how big this thing is. Where's our... I don't know. I do not know, Jonathan. Oh no. Oh no is right. I haven't found it forever. It was in there like the other day. 
Okay, so we're gonna start on, I had to remind myself how I wanna do this. Um, yeah, do it's right not, there. So yeah, do not auction these. Yeah, we're not supposed to auction these. We're keeping these. I didn't auction off this one last year, but we used the board to do Christmas. A Christmas, and I don't want to redo that one either. So that one is okay. So we're not going to worry about the stairs as much. So I just need. I wish this would come out of retirement because I love this transfer. Yeah, a lot of people like this one. Um, I also love the moon. That I would love that one to come out of transfer. There's a lot. Are you trying to get a measurement? Yeah. I'm sorry. So the inside is 27 by 20, about 20 and a quarter. Total, total size is 35 by 28. There you go. There you go. Is this for the living room? No, this is for when you come down our stairs, you make the immediate left. There's a table right there. It goes right there. We'll show you tomorrow. Where's right? my gold? Your gold? Yeah. You like have no more gold left. No, I had some gold left. Um, I did. Oh, it's right. oh he didn't I grab didn't, all I my didn't pastes. See it. He didn't bag. grab all my pastes. All right, so this one is once again a very loved transfer, mm -hmm. and this one was literally one of the first uh, videos we made. You actually can go back on my channel and see the haunted house on this. And you want to know my memory of this is. I was editing this video while Sean was getting his colonoscopy. Was I? Yeah, yeah. at the brand new Valley member. Yeah. That's where the... Um... So it was like literally one of my kind of first chalk tour like edited. It was a couple years ago. Yeah. So this transfer is so loved that in some parts of the screen, Back in the day before I used the orange squeegee, we used yellow Bondo kind of... Spatula type thing? Yeah, and they had a plastic edge and they would rip my transfers. So that's why we stopped using them. You can kind of see some right there. Uh, and I read totally... Oh, man. Why do you not go far enough down? No, I yeah. guess I don't need it. Because I don't want to look this all up. Um... So if you have anything like a cricket spatula or anything like that, if it's a hard plastic edge, do not use it. Can you zoom in here? You can see what it does to it. Yeah. So if you use a hard plastic and you're not using like this, Point to you can so see right here, right okay. here, if you get in super close, you'll see where I actually, you can see it right there. So right there, there, and over here, I used a plastic and when you do it, it would, it tears it tears and it. it's still okay because I do a hot mess look on this. So I'm not as concerned, but you don't want to do that if you don't have to. Okay. So we're going to start with, we do Grige, we do storm. I do Grige, storm, white. Where's my white? Right. Itch, right? uh, and then I think it's this time no. we're doing a little bit of gold because we have the gold waking stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so this one will go pretty quick. It's just basically a hot mess. So grab these out of Shawnee's way. We'll work on those next. The only one might need rehydrating is my storm. Let's see. Nope. We're good. Well, sure. Am I ever sure, Sean? What do you think? Yeah, looks good. Mm -hmm. It does look nice. All right. So I get questions all the time on the hot mess technique on I did it and it looks bad, yada, yada. So the thing is, is hot mess is all about not mixing it too much. If you mix it too much, it doesn't give you the effect you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start with my whites and I just literally stick my finger in and make little dollops. Doesn't matter where. Nancy Bjorkel says, I have the Chocolate Tour haunted house in metal that the original came out <gasps> Oh my gosh. If you love me, you can send me that for a gift. I only got one metal sign or metal magnet because you got the Halloween. I was not 
it wasn't on my radar of something I should get. And then they retired him. They had a bunny, a haunted mansion, happy Halloween. I'm trying to remember all the ones we had. I wish they would bring those back, but I don't even know. I think they were, I think those were like a locally made by a friend of the uh, previous founder of our company. Well, the founder of our company. Um, and we've never had them back and believe you me, they don't make mesh out of them because they were expensive. And they were, they're made, you can get the Happy Halloween one. It's on the side of the thing. So you can show everyone what they look like. Look at, oh, I don't even display because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. Maybe I'll put it on this. I don't know. We'll see. So there's a magnet here and here. And then and that's here. vinyl, I think. The Yeah, it's a vinyl. So they, they were like, I think, handmade. I'm not, I mean, I'm sure like on a plasma cutter. Yeah. Ooh, Ron could do those, I bet. Ron could do these. <gasps> Ooh. We just have to find the right metal. And it's probably aluminum. Aluminum? Yep. What is the, what is uh, the British name? Aluminum? No, aluminum. That's right. Okay, um, so then I'm going to end with my shimmer gold. And I'm trying not to use too much because this is all I have until this comes back in stock. Because there was a let it snow. Oh, yeah, there was a let it snow. Oh, back in the day. All right, so now that I've done this, I'm going to start with one squeegee and hit just my whites. And I just do kind of a X marks the spot type of feel. Then I'm going to grab the next one and hit my grige. And then just get rid of the excess. Then we'll hit the storm. And then we'll get the gold. And then whatever color is speaking to you is what you can kind of end with. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to grab my squeegee and grab probably where's my white no i don't want to do white i'll do some more storm grige she says she has an extra lot of snow and it's yours oh shut up i'll take it he'll take it i'll take it take it sold sold i don't even know if i have to sold i i outbid the other person i don't even know if that's happening but if it is i i outbid him you could have sean for a week Okay, so when you're doing the hot mess, you really don't want to hit your gold too much because... It'll disappear. Yeah. So I just kind of go back and hit the gold last because we want to add a little bit of gold. Now, hot mess on this one can be a little confusing because it's so busy and you don't want to miss any spots. So I'll usually have Sean do my second check. And your very bottom. Okay. Good. You can do this bottom piece here. Good. Good. Okay. So now we are going to finish with adding some gold to the top. Because hot mess and metals, or not metals, shimmer, um, as Sean was just saying, they kind of disappear when you do the hot mess. And they're so pretty, so I'm going to put them on my top layer. Yes, you said it's sold. Sold! I don't even know what I bought. What did I buy? Oh, the let it snow. Let yeah. it snow. Let it snow magnet. And if you are someone that likes to hold on to paste and save every ounce, look away. Look away. Because look hot away. mess, even though it gives you cool results... You do go through paste. Yep. <laughs> Ta da! All right, I'm going to dry this real quick so a little mute time.
let me quick quickly go over to his, to the sink here while I wash it so you can kind of see it. Sarah, that, that one was called The Haunted House. It is a expired transfer. Retired. Retired. I say expired. You I? said expired. Retired one from almost two years ago. Expired. You're so funny. All right. So now we're going to do our moon. And the moon will go over here. Normally, I would do this in yellow um, daffodil uh bumblebee but because we're going with this kind of gold theme i'm going to use the last bit of gold i have do you have any more left mm, i think i might have one upstairs if not no no comes in to stock next week or this week hopefully hopefully thursday you hope okay so i'm going to grab white greech and then the gold will be last so Oops, my fault. Well, of course it's your fault. You're in control of the L camera O. Yeah, I hit the menu button. And you guys can see the menu button pop up too. <laughs> cool. All right. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Okay. And then we are going to get as much of the gold out of here as we can. They get everywhere, Shawnee. Yeah, it looks okay. Yep. Beauty. I just thought I saw something, but I didn't. Do you? Well, now I didn't, but now you're making me think I should. No, oh, looks good. Look at it. I swear. <laughs> Dry this real quick. So here's the deal. In the beginning, Sean really didn't know what was going on, so he never pointed out my mistakes. But now that he knows what's going on, he points out my mistakes, he is looking at that spot right there. I know Sean too well. And he caught himself from saying, I think you missed a spot, because he knows I probably would have kicked him in his nutsack. Um, so to cover that up, we're just going to take a little bit of white, and this way Sean can calm down. But I do appreciate the fact that you quickly retracted your... Mm -hmm. But I know you too well. 
Okay, so now we just have that. So the this transfer, just so you guys know, originally is one piece. I cut it up. So normally it's one piece and then the bottom corner was like the bats and the windows and stuff. So normally you would have this and this all on kind of one big piece, but I found it easier to cut it up and do it in sections. So that's my little thing. All right, so now we have these cutie patootie bats and we put them basically everywhere. And I will do them in all different colors. So we have four different colors and I will just pick them up and randomly place them on the board. So I fill this pretty full with bats. And then this one we do the white because it's just a little outline of the bat. So all I do when I'm doing bats is I start with whatever color. So in this case, I will start with the white. I have a detail tool ready to go. And I'm just going to chalk. The moon looks like a face. So that's cool. Kate. And then chalk. Yeah, there is a vault coming. I don't think it would be this though. Probably it's too not. late in season. Could be wrong. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, the frame is pretty cool. It, it normally comes white with a sanded, sanded. So you'll see it because we're going to be doing the whiteboard next. Yeah. So we painted it black and then put a little gold on it. You can go clean that if you want. Okay. You don't have to. No. And I want you to feel peer pressured. No peer pressure. Here. Okay. So I think the next one we'll do. This is grige. So once again, I just. Chalk, remove, Shock and roll. What else do I need this kind of bat? Is that good? That's good for now. We can fill it in later. Okay. This is a found surface. Found surface. Okay. So then we're going to do El Stormo. So that's going to be this guy. A black bat over the moon. Mm. Nice idea, Heidi. I think what you were saying right here would be good. Last but not least, we're going to do this guy in the gold. If I have gold left, I think I just enough to do my little bats. So. All right, but last but not least, 
Give this to El Shanio. Thanks. And I'm going to grab this bat and grab Shimmer Black. Shimmer Shadow. Shimmer Shadow. So we're going to do a couple bats. Um, we'll do one, of course, on the moon. My moon looks pretty dry. So let's do one right about here. And then I'm going to do just some random, you won't see them a ton, but they will be hit with the light downstairs and we'll see these little black bats glittering, which will be cool. Because we all need a little bling in our life. So even though you won't see these too much on camera in person, they're going to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, diamond, diamond. Doom, 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 doom. Where else do I need a little black bat? Should I do two on the moon or just the one? Just the one. Sean has spoken, people. I think I'm good. No, I'll do one right up here. Darlene says, we have a secondhand store that's been selling beautiful artwork in frames, but they're like 150 bucks. What? I know, that's crazy. Here you go. Thanks. Oops. You're welcome. I need to fix my little black bat. He pulled up a little bit in the center, so I'm just going to grab a paintbrush and dab. When you're fixing shimmer, you do not want to actually use the paintbrush as designed. I can go clean that. Oh, sure. And you can clean the lid. I'll clean the lids. Oh, thanks. Yeah. That one's clean. That one's clean, Pete. Yeah. That one's clean, Pete. So this board is done. Yay. I'll go put it up in one sec. On to our last one. One more and all done. I'm going to pull out the hair dryer real quick and uh, dry those and be right back. So Beth, one of the things that we do is that we like to clean the lids as well as the jars. So this way, when you put the lid back on the jar, that's clean. It keeps a good seal that keeps the air out. Okay, before I go put this, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. And Let's that's show why we straight do it. on. Ugh. Ooh, this frame is so pretty. Okay, ready? Yeah, hold on. Look at that! Look at that gold! OMG. That's gorgeous. Nice. I'm gonna go put it in its home. Unfortunately, Marianne, this is a retired transfer as of two years ago. A lot of people would love to have it come back in the vault, but who knows if it will ever happen. Cleaning time, gotta get these jars clean. This is what we do every time, Beth. Clean the jars really well, clean the lids, and then put it all away. And then this way your uh, pastes do not dry out. And voila, I have a nice clean jar. And there's not too much left of this one. So the jar clean, nice and clean. Done. Let's see. 
Uh, Nancy, uh, that's where it came from, but you never know. You have to go to your local and just see if it's there or not. And of course, you always want to make go there when they're 50% off. I think that's like an $80 one, isn't it? What? That frame. This frame is $80. Yeah, so but we never buy a regular price. No. Because we are cheap. And why? Because if you learn Hobby Lobby Cycles, it will be 50% off in like two weeks. Okay, so last but not least, our final board. One final board. Okay, so this one we are using, I think it just retired, unless it's still on the website, Trick or Treat, Gothic Trick or Treat. It was available, it came unpaused, but I don't know if it's still available. Yeah, take a peek or? You can if you want. If it is still available, you better grab it, because. So true. All of these, I just grab all the, so basically at the end of the season, I'll go buy a whole bunch of these um to keep because i love my holidays holiday celebrate if you live holiday oh oh yeah time to celebrate are these done that's under oh sean are you no this is not this is you're just not for sharing me. nope this is only for me okay see that's what that's what okay So type in gothic. Out of stock. So now we know. I don't know if it's like retired or if it's coming back in stock, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be retired. Because it was a on it was like a paused item that came back in. Okay, we have a little bit of gold left. All right, so now we're gonna do our final board while Sean cleans those. Mm -hmm. And so for this one, we are using orange peel. Where'd it go? Oh, that's papaya. I love you, papaya, but I don't need you. And we're gonna use meadow and our eagle. And wait. So we know meadow is good. So we've been using it. Or not meadow. Um, yeah. Oh, that's actually really good too. Yeah, the uh, Nancy says back in the day, Chalk Tour big boards were very expensive. <gasps> Had said, I known, I would have stocked up. So she said, there is a fun thing on those big boards. So we had a ton of them in stock and people weren't buying them because we were new and they were expensive. They was they were like $300 and like $250 to ship. 400 for the one she bought. Yeah, I mean, they were ridiculous, but they had a whole bunch of them. So they did a pallet sale of them. Mm -hmm. So you could buy five of them and have them ship in a pallet. And the reason they did that is that way they wouldn't break and of course, I bought some and auctioned them off like a silly boy, and I now kick myself because they we had beautiful, beautiful frames. Ava, they were all named after girls, and so we had the, of course, we still have the Aidens, but we had Ava, I'm trying to remember them all, and they were very ornate, but the problem was, not only were they expensive, they would come broken a lot, because they just, they were hard to ship. Yeah. But they were beautiful. Mm -hmm. I give them that. Juanita asks, is it likely the tree cutouts and the tree transfers will be unpaused this year? I think our answer is coming on Thursday for that. October 1st, they will let us all know. So they're doing something special for them because we all- Is this all salvageable? Designers, um, yeah, you might as well keep it a little bit. All of us designers have been giving them, like we're like, where are we getting our trees? And they just said, wait till October 1st. All will be revealed. All right. Let me get my board up. Last project of the night. So this is the color of the 
same board, but as you when you buy it at the old place there. Ooh la la. That's what it normally looks like. So this board, I'm gonna tell you right now, this board is gorgeous with Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, which was a vault transfer just in that white color. Well, it's kind of a, I guess if Dune would be our closest. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? And then it's even more gorgeous with glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Sean doesn't agree, but I do. Yeah. So as Kathy says, she just looked, the restock for the Gothic Trigger Treat is 10.5 through 10.9. Oh, cool. So next week. Rianne says, give her a shout out when you're done. She has a question for you. Uh-oh. When I'm done with the live or now? Yes, when you're done with the live. Hi, Jasmine. Uh, this was, I measured it, it's 28 by 26. 28 by... I don't remember. Twenty-eight by twenty-one or twenty and a quarter. Hey, Damon. Okay, so we're gonna do what I call my fruit stripe method, which is literally. Do you guys remember that fruit stripe gum? It was like fruit stripe, and it had a zebra. Zebra. And it was like you could get it in. I think it was just like a tutti frutti flavor. Yeah, pretty much. And that's where I got this because, like, when you would open it, it would be like all. It'd be fruit stripe gum. Yes, it would be. So. Uh, we're gonna do fruit strike. Love it. Oh, I need another. So, I probably should have fuzzed, but oh well. Yes. Because this is a new transfer. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never used this one. I bought it. No. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the last one, Rebecca. Sorry. At least you get to see one. Okay, is that centered? Okay. You can't look because you never change the camera. No, oh, we just did this. Uh... Okay, now you can lift it up and tell. Let's see. If you say to me, I'm going to smack you. It's almost like the the bottom needs to shift this way just a little, but it's, it's barely. I think because it's already kind of cockeyed. Good. I'm leaving it. Fine. I'm leaving it, people. It is what it is. Okay. Is the restock tomorrow or October 1st? Um, I, normally some, it's on a Thursday. Some people are saying it's tomorrow, but hmm. I do not know. I will find that out. I will get you an answer and we'll let everyone know. Um, what would you like me to do? Do with what? I find out. Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't know when it is. Hmm. I would, it's, it's normally on Thursdays, but maybe. So, will it be said somewhere or? Huh? Is it going to be said somewhere or? Probably. Um, I'll find out here in a sec. I'm sure a designer that, I, don't, I mean, I don't know where they, it would be in our design group, but yeah. I haven't been online all day. Hi, Sheila. All day. All day. All right. All right, you guys. I love Halloween. Tomorrow, I'm talking myself into putting up my Halloween village. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time is what people are saying. So I'll look into that. I did not know these things. Um, so I have a Halloween village. October 1st is on a Thursday. Normally it's on a Thursday, but now people are saying tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. And to be honest, I haven't been online. So who knows? So I, the people that are saying that are probably right. Okay, so... We're going to think, I think we're going to put up our Halloween village, which we have not. Is it two years or three years? It's been a long time. So, anyhow. So I'm going to start with orange peel. And literally we just. 
And then I grab my next color, which will do white. Damon says, how has the village Damon. Not, how has the village not been put up already? Because Sean is evil. We're doing we're doing other things right now for the last two days. Sean doesn't downstairs. like the village. Sean hates the village. Takes forever. You never do up. anything. I yes, always I do, do it. I, I'm gonna have to pull it all out from the now that it's farther out, it's all out in the shed. But is it not the coolest thing? Right now this looks very Irish. Yeah, this is Ireland, or it could also be um, Mexico. No, but right. Mexico, isn't it yeah. awesome once it's all up? And it's like, you hear the... <laughs> and then we hear the haunted sounds, and everything lights up, and there's music. I love Halloween. Stop taking away my Halloween time. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I don't know why Disney has not called me yet. It's real. Oh, Jessica. No, Jessica, this one is a Hobby Lobby. Happy love it. Happy love it. The one you just missed, we painted black and so gold. So pretty. We'll show it again. Or can we? Um, it's in its permanent home, but we can think. This is Halloween. Who else is this? Like, Halloween is your favorite time of year. I love, like, the fall crisp, you know, the crisp, nice air, and I love it. This is Halloween. Yeah. See, now that's going to be stuck in my head all night. Pretty soon I'll be able to stop using the... Is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie or a Halloween? Everyone says Christmas, but I feel like it's more of a Halloween-ish. I guess it could be both. It could be a transitional. Yes, Angela, it is. D56. D56, D56. Because he used to work at Hallmark. Hallmark and got 40% off? 50 on D56. 50 on D56. And it's expensive. Yes, it is. Okay, so now we're going to grab a little... Wendy loves it because it's right after her birthday. Have a birthday and then go trick-or-treating and have all that candy. Do you think there's going to be trick-or-treating this year? I don't know. I'm going to be sad if there's not. We're going to have to do something for our ki all of like our little kiddos in the... Like, Jazzy's kids and Allie's kids, if there's no trick-or-treating, yeah. that will be super sad. Do you think they're going to cancel it? I guess they, they don't. They no, can't no. cancel it if it's your own house, but, like, people aren't going to want to go and get the COVID. Some people say it's the it's both Christmas and Halloween. It is. It's just I like, am it's not... Just, it's just like, is... Is, um... The one with Bruce Willis, is that a Christmas That movie? is, is that not a Christmas, a Christmas movie? movie. I don't care what people say. I'm... Wow. Shut the front door! I love Fruit Stripe Method. Fruit Stripe Method! Karen says they're going to be tricking. Trick and trick Trick and trick Trick and treat. Trick and treat. Alright, I'm going to mute while I drive. Be right back. This thing weighs a lot, too. Depending on which, so how you see it, the purple kind of hides in the black, but it's still there. There you go. Trick or treat. 
Masa. Mama Disney, what was for dinner? We, ha we haven't even had dinner yet. <laughs> I think we're having leftovers. What? Uh, Mama Disney says she's been watching uh, the TV, watching us and serving dinner. So I just asked her what was what was for dinner. Did you let her know that this is Halloween? Everybody, there's some people saying now I have that song in my head. This is uh, that's the only part of the song I know. This, this is, is Halloween. Halloween. Karen just so here is the thing, and don't give me like crazy eyes. I'm not a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. It's kind of weird out there. But I am kind of a fan because I like the Disneyland ride. Because they make the Disneyland, like, Haunted Mansion Jack. Probably not this year because they're still not open, but... All right, so here it is. Ready, show me? All right, show it. Oh, you held it up and everything? Yes. You really can't see the purple in real life, which is kind of... You, or I mean, in, in you, the camera. Well, don't look at that one. Look oh, at don't one. look at that one. You, there we go. At a certain angle, you can see it really So good. this will be out in the living room. I'm trying to remember what Space Cowboys was, Heidi, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Ooh, meatloaf. I love meatloaf. Costco's meatloaf's pretty good. Yeah. Now, I have to ask... When you make meatloaf, do you put green peppers in no, the meatloaf? No, nobody does yes, that. Yes, you do. You got to because it actually <sighs> enhances it. And I'm not a green pepper lover. I don't like okay. green peppers. First of all, most But people... putting it in meatloaf, it's actually pretty good. Not a lot, just a little. No one does that, Sean. Yeah. Well... Do you know meatloaf is just basically ketchup? No, it's just a whole bunch of... Ketchup. No. Yes, we are having leftover taco, uh, taco salad. We are going to have to go get some more sour cream and possibly chips. Isn't that what you said? No, we have plenty of chips. Oh. Well, we have to go get something. Because I also need a little sweet treat. Yes to green peppers. No peppers in the meatloaf, says Diane. Okay. And then, you know what's weird is he does that, and then he so, he doesn't know what taco salad, or uh, right. what... Uh, he never had tater tot casserole until he met me. I'm like, what? No, no, no. Yes, I How do. How could you not have had tater tot casserole? No. Like, that was a staple in our house. And he was like, this is amazing. And I was like, everyone has had tater tot casserole. And then I thought about it, and I was like, oh, he was rich. Tater tot casserole is for families on a budget. For us families on food stamps, that's tater tot casserole. Sean's family was It's about, high. right now it's about half and half. Brown, sh bacon brown sugar on the top of the meatloaf. That would be very good. I'm not a meatloaf fan, but I am a yes, tater tot casserole fan. We had enchiladas. Mm, enchiladas. Now, t now, tater tot casserole is amazing, but it's not as good as tachos. Those, oh. Oh, thanks Heidi. I was trying to remember. Tachos is the bomb diggity. Tachos is good. All right, I'm going to go clean your lid, Sean. I'll be right back. Yes, yeah, cream peppers and onions. Yeah. Are those up to your standard, or are they not clean enough? Those are, I just have to wipe the inside edge. Okay. Good. Um, thank you, though. Um, I like a I like a nice barbecue sauce on this my meatloaf. Halloween. Holy mother. Is it hot? Yeah, I forgot to turn on the light. I don't know. It's it's funny. Again, I eat green peppers. I don't like them, as is. I just don't like them. But when you put them in a in in the meatloaf, it actually helps enhance enhance the taste of the meatloaf. And of course, you have to do, you know, onions because onions and garlic, you got to put all that in there. Tater tot casserole, never heard of it until I met him. Never heard of it. That's so weird. We used to do hot dogs, split the hot dogs in weird. half, no, and then fill weird. them up with um, uh, mashed potatoes and top them off with that some bacon weird. bits. And um, geez, I didn't mind with that. Nobody does that. That's Picante weird. sauce, that would be nice, huh? Yeah. Ketchup, brown sugar, yeah. That'd be nice. Which one is this? There you go. Ooh, shepherd's pie. Costco shepherd pie is really good. What did we have from there? We didn't have. We, had, we had yes, no, pie. we did. We did both. Oh. Shepherd pie is the I one don't think I like that. But their, uh, but their um, chicken pot pie is good. I really like their. Um, what do you call it? I like their uh, their crust. It's very good. Very good crust. I like their salad that has spinach and craisins. And eggs and, and blue kale. cheese. It's kale. Oh, that's right. Kale. 
Yeah, I would never put ketchup in the meatloaf, but a lot of people just put it on top and bake it on I'm the top. Okay. I did like Costco's. I won't. I won't Ooh, lie. We had Panera Bread. What? What Panera, about Panera? That's where we're at Heidi had tonight. Ooh, Panera. Panera's good. Yeah, Panera good. All right. A little so, pricey, but good. That is it for today. Uh, we'll probably be back tomorrow because hopefully my um, my launch date order is here tomorrow because I had to reship it out because USPS lost it, I guess. Um, so it should be here tomorrow or Thursday. So I don't know what it will be. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so there will be a Ken from the Car on my other channel. Yep. And then um, probably a quick project on here since we've done two long lives. Or maybe we'll skip tomorrow. I don't know. Because we will do one on Thursday if we don't get my package tomorrow. Um but we're going to do our Halloween village tomorrow. So I'm so excited for that. And we'll give you a tour of the basement since we finished it. Um, what was your favorite project, Sean? Out of the double frame, the gothic trick-or-treat, or the um, haunted house? Haunted house, then the double, and then the stripe. Yeah, you Last year would have said the gothic trick-or-treat because that's when I started doing the fruit stripe. And he was all like, ooh. But now it's it doesn't do it for him. I have to kick it up a notch. Mm. Ooh. He's not easily impressed anymore. I need new Jedi mind tricks. So, what? What? All right. How about my shipment? How about your shipment? How about your I shipment? don't know who I like stamping is. That's Pam. From, oh, Pam. Pam from PA. I am waiting to hear back from Chocotor. I emailed them today. Um, so here's the deal. Just so Pam brings up a, a good point. So the USPS will not allow, well, I mean, we can, but they're advising Chocotour to wait at least 10 days because they're so backed up on orders. So if your order was shipped out, like my order was shipped out on the 15th, they had to wait until the 25th to put in an investigation and the 28th to ship it. So I'm waiting to hear back on yours tomorrow um, and I'll email you. So Kate says, I have a large package at my case this evening. Just saying. Ooh, I like large packages. Is it for us, Kate? Is it a large package for us or for you? <laughs> All right. Yes, Charlotte, please do. Yep, just message me. I do Christmas villages, but need more villages. So we do Christmas villages. We haven't done them for three years. Them for three years. But we have a North Pole, we have a Dickens, and then we have a New Christmas York? in the City. New York. Yeah, New York. And, and you also have uh, Disney. No, yeah, because Mickey Mouse isn't the one. You have a little I bit. I mix that in with uh, you have a little bit of, little the bit North of Pole. Oh, okay. Yeah, and stuff. So we'll put it up this year. It's fun. That one's even bigger. It's huge. Yes. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it I, takes will, like I do two, say. two six foot tables. Yeah. So, all right, everyone. Thanks for joining. I adore you to pieces. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Um, a new quarter is coming starting October 1st. So, for those of you waiting to join, that's the time. And I will get back to you on the launch. Maybe it is tomorrow. I don't know. And you look at that. And then I'll get back to you on. What else was I going to get back to him on? The lunch. Oh, and then um, trees. If trees are yep. what's going on with trees, October yep. 1st. So. Yep. She says it's for us. Thanks, Kate. All right, guys. Adore you to pieces. I am so glad you got my joke, Damien, because no one else did. <laughs> I kept saying it, and Sean didn't even give me a little. I heard it. A little like, oh, that's so funny. Nothing. Not I was so up. I just kept saying it. I like packages. Someone would get big it. Packages. So thank you. Big packages. It's a big package. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.